Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. On November 2nd of 2021, the Centers for Medicaid and Medicaid Services or CMS issued a final rule and let's see in this video how it impacts the clinical laboratory fee schedule for specimen collection fee and travel allowance. The Clinical Laboratory Fee Schedule or CLFS provides for a nominal fee for specimen collection for laboratory testing and a fee to cover transportation and personnel expenses, generally referred to as the travel allowance, for trained personnel to collect specimens from homebound patients and inpatients except hospital inpatients. The travel allowance is paid only when the nominal specimen collection fee is also payable. In an effort to be as expensive as possible within the current authorities to make diagnostic testing available to Medicare beneficiaries during the COVID-19 public health emergency, CMS changed the Medicare payment rules to provide payment to independent laboratories for specimen collection from beneficiaries who are homebound or inpatients that are not in a hospital for COVID-19 clinical diagnostic laboratory tests or CDLTS under certain circumstances and increase payments from $3 to $5 to $23 to $25. Although the increased specimen collection fees for COVID-19 clinical diagnostic laboratory tests or CDLTS will end at the termination of the COVID-19 public health emergency, in the calendar year 2022 physician fee schedule proposed rule, CMS sought comments on its policies for specimen collection fees and the travel allowance as CMS considers updating these policies in the future through notice and comment rulemaking. Specifically, CMS requested comments regarding the nominal specimen collection fees related to the calculation of costs for transportation and personnel expenses for trained personnel to collect specimens from homebound patients and inpatients that are not in a hospital, how specimen collection practices may have changed because of the public health emergency and what additional resources might be needed for specimen collection for COVID-19, CDLTS or clinical diagnostic laboratory tests and other tests after the public health emergency ends. CMS received feedback from stakeholders in response to the comment solicitation which CMS plans to take into consideration for possible future rulemaking for the CLFS laboratory specimen collection fee and travel allowance. CMS also clarified that they are making permanent the option for laboratories to maintain electronic logs of miles travel for the purposes of covering the transportation and personnel expenses for trained personnel to travel to the location of an individual to collect a specimen sample. All right, this is it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Take care. Bye now.